Good morning. I just woke up. It is snowing outside. I am going to go have some coffee this morning and hopefully not trip on a dog bed and some element as well as work on today drinking more water yesterday being at my sister's with a very sweet August. I helped organize and go through her closet so I didn't go downstairs much. I was so motivated to organize. Second cup of coffee. My hair is really crazy. I'm gonna head downstairs to do some work stuff and then breakfast after that. Try to convince Scott, it's snowing right now, to take the dogs for a walk in the snow and he said no. So we'll do a little bit later. Dog massacre of stuffed animals. Now a de-unstuffed clean carpet from the crazy dogs. I tried to convince Scott this morning to go walking when it was snowing. A lot of it's melted. It is nicer doing it now because it's nice and sunny and blue skied out now. He may have been right. Tonight, Scott's gonna make the hamburger taco meat. 
I'm going to try for the first time trying to make cheese taco shells for dinner. And then I've got some homemade taco seasoning that I made that we use. These didn't go so well. This one's actually pretty nice. That one's okay. That looks like two lines. Living cheese. <laughs> I, the problem was, is I used these silicone mats and let them fold up on the edges, so I'll fix that next time. So I didn't have the little taco shell folders, but these are the silicone pot holders that go to this. this. But they work pretty dang well. Okay, here's dinner. My cheese shells, some sour cream, and then this is about half pound of the beef. Taco shell, drippy, phenomenal. Hey guys, it has been a while since I sat down and did one of these evening convos. I am tired. It is almost 10 o'clock. It has been quite a busy day and it's been just busy quite a bit lately for us. Anyways, today was a great day. I am day six of getting fully back on carnivore after Ryu and things like that. Doing really well with that. I have not been very good about drinking water and every time that happens, I have not been to the bathroom in like days and days and days. <laughs> it's been like four or five days at this point. <sighs> so tomorrow the goal is to get my gallon of water in because that seems to always help when I have it and I eat plenty of fat. Tonight's dinner was, it was the first time I actually had tried to make the cheese taco shell things. I even had Scott try some because he ate his meat mush. I had taco tacos. <laughs> it was really, really good. Learned some valuable lessons and will adapt to next time, but it was yummy. I think I ended up using whatever cheese we had. It was probably a sharp cheddar. Probably would have preferred a mild cheddar to be honest, but it was what was already ground up at the point. What else? <sighs> Scott and I have been having some really good conversations around everything but lately really around my frustration with my weight and progress and things like that and pretty much the answer ends up being lack of consistency if I really genuinely look back on my journey I did really really well for the first 10 months or so and then I just like let little things slip in here and there like this one time won't hurt me but I've been watching a lot of, it's a channel called Renaissance Periodization. It is about weightlifting and stuff like that. The guy's actually pretty funny. And he was talking in a video, and I believe also it was some video about Chris Pratt, not that I care about Hollywood, but it was saying something, if you do good for six days, and then on the seventh day you have an off meal, whatever off plan meal it is, whatever you're trying to do, you can literally set yourself back that entire week. One meal. And that's what I was doing. Uh, having some progress forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. And I'm actually extremely excited about the next three weeks and seeing how, what consistency can be like. Like I actually set, how do I say this? Instead of just broad doing carnivore, how many calories or a range of calories I'm going to be eating a day so I can kind of get a guesstimation of the nutrients as well as the energy consumption I'm going with. And kind of go from there, seeing how I feel if I'm not eating enough, if am I, you know, working too hard with the workouts, those kinds of things. I'm kind of documenting all that for myself, but also I'm weighing myself every day. Normally that would really, really bother me, but I decided with this, it's going to be viewed as an experiment. It is just data gathered and it's just an experiment to see in the end of the month, is there something I need to tweak? Is there something I need to do to get myself, I won't even call it a stall, but I guess you could say it's a stall, but get myself unstuck. And I have, thankfully, uh, I've lost almost all of the fluid gained. If I have any meal, any meal off carnivore, I gain anywhere from like 10 to 15 pounds in fluid. No joke. Like I'm not even kidding you. Today's day six. And I think I've lost eight pounds of gonna call it fluid most likely uh eight pounds of fluid in six days yeah something like that so I always feel better getting that out of my system and I will share the findings as I go um it can be hard when we feel like we're kind of spinning in circles and 
that, I mean, that's the whole point of me doing this is figuring out how to stop myself spinning and get moving forward. Also, a trackable moving forward. Something that I, I realized that really hurt me about eight-ish months ago was there was a really big push about eating a lot of butter, a lot of butter. I was putting butter on my steak and this and that, and I really wasn't watching what I was eating. And the thing is, is I, I gained some weight with that. I'm like, eh, you know, okay. But the thing also with that is, is when I actually started checking what I was eating, I get anywhere from like 120 to 150 grams of fat every single day, which is the perfect amount for me. So there is actually zero need to add butter to my food. So I stopped doing it. Uh, and it's, I am actually finding I'm doing better with that and just getting the fat through the meat I'm eating and just eating, you know, like chuck roast and short ribs. And if we do uh, ground beef, we do like the 80, 20, and then we'll actually add a little bit of our own tallow into it, just up it just a bit more. And it's actually working beautifully, which is nice. Cause now we're not going through sticks of butter. <laughs> And I'm seeing progress forwards. The telltale is going to be seeing consistent progress forward. Also, on the walk today, I just told Scott I missed Ryu, but also, God, this stress of not having all these worries and concerns about her or anything like that. It's been such a relief. I, I hate to say that because I miss her. And I love her very much. But I really feel like a weight has been lifted off my shoulder. Shoulders. I have two. <laughs> and I'm feeling much better about things right now. Plus, you know, I got to see the baby. So he always like recharges me and he's He's the cutest thing. I know I say this all the time. He is my nephew, but even if he wasn't, he is the most adorable baby. His laugh is just like pure joy bottled up into him. It is so cute. All right, anywho, uh, what else? Workouts have been going really good. I am super enjoying this um, workout. Um, it says app, but it's a web-based app. It's by the Renaissance Periodization Guy. I'm really, really liking it. Firstly, after you do your like first week of all the exercises, then it starts asking you questions and it'll adjust your target weight and your reps and how many sets you do for all of it because that's just too much work for Amanda. I'm really enjoying that aspect of it. So if that's something you're interested in, check him out. I have no affiliation with him. I just really like his stuff. And I definitely getting stronger because we did a 115 pound deadlift. I remember when we started, I was struggling at 80 pounds doing a deadlift. It feels really good being able to pick up the weights and move them around and just not struggle. I mean, don't get me wrong. There are people, there's people who do 500 pound deadlifts. <laughs> My 115 pounds is nothing, but it's a great improvement for me and Scott. Today, I was super proud of him. He did the bicep curls. I can only do 35 pounds. I don't know why, I was just tired. Scott did 50. I was like, because most of the stuff just because my legs are stronger than his because I'm having to carry the weight around and things like that. <sighs> I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you are doing beautifully on your journey. And if not, I hope you also know that it's not abnormal to struggle and have things happen. Life. It's not easy. We're going to have good times, bad times, and it's never going to be completely smooth. But it's also in those moments that we discover who we are and it strengthens us. It strengthens our character and it also refines us. It's like being a piece of coal and being compressed into a diamond. And then just through the tumbling and rolling and chipping and everything of that, we become eventually just a beautiful, shiny, perfection of a diamond. Okay, this week I am working on a few different things, but getting the rest of my blood work done. I also got a call from the rheumatologist that I need to go to the eye doctor because the hydroxychloroquine that I take is hard on the eyes and you have to have your eyes checked. But thankfully I take a half dose compared to what they did have me on. Uh, 
So I told them I was going to get that scheduled ASAP. So I'm, I don't know if they'll get them in this week, but I'm going to schedule this week for whenever I can get in to see them, get the rest of the blood work done. And I think that's kind of all my medical stuff. Uh, my butt still hurts, y'all. Laying two days in bed, crying over Ryu. It just is made, it's just like the low back, back butt area hurts real bad and there's not much I can do with it except time. We know it's not broken from the x-ray that I had. <sighs> it's just gonna be dealing with that. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, it's better as I get even more inflammation out of my body from being consistent with carnivore and not sabotaging myself even once a week or even once every two weeks sabotaging myself with just small little things here and there. Uh, that it'll also get better. We'll see. You don't see. All right, y'all. I appreciate you so very much. Thank you for all your kind words. It was a rough time last week, and I do appreciate it. Scott does too. All your kindness towards us and, you know, our loss with Ryu. Thank you. And I hope you guys have a beautiful day today. Go out and get some sun if there is any. I hope. All right, y'all. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.